what is up what is up traders welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel so apparently today i wanted to touch upon a little matter but before i touch upon that matter do make sure to click that thumbs up let's get those likes up let's get those likes up do make sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed right i'm always at these noisy places i'm always at these noisy places man so right so guys i wanted us to talk about um trading your high probability setups right so you must actually aim to trade only your high probability setups and i know that most of you guys actually can differentiate between a low probability trade setup and a high probability trade setup most of you guys can't differentiate that like before you take a trade you get this feeling that oh bro this is my high probability trade setup you can actually differentiate between a low probability trade setup and a high probability setup now the question is what do you think would actually happen if you only took your high probability trade setups well i can tell you what can actually happen you'd actually be consistent that's like definitely what can happen like you 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 definitely be consistent if you just stuck on trading your high probability set types i'm telling you you'd actually be consistent and the reason why i'm actually saying that you'd actually be consistent it's not because um your 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 high probability trade set type would actually be winners but it is because it would actually be 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 um be be learning fast it would actually be learning fast right imagine having to fix a mistake on a high probability trade imagine having to fix a mistake on a high probability trade just imagine that but if you're actually taking your low probability trades uh, a medium probability trade high probability trade you'd end up not having to fix uh, the mistakes that uh, you, you would have actually done on your high probability trades right so just imagine bro having to having to having to actually do those one percent tweaks on your high probability trades at setup so which one is better taking five trades a month and winning three trades and losing two trades or taking 50 trades per month and uh 50 to 100 trades per month and only winning 10 to 15 trades which one is actually better It's gotta be taking the five trades and actually winning the three trades, right? So at the end of the day, the main aim shouldn't be about double accounts. The main aim shouldn't be to, to actually make more money this week. But the main aim should be consistency. You should actually try for consistency that is what you actually should be looking at right so your mindset you must have a, a, a mindset of consistency is your account going to be here in the next two years is your account going to be here in the next couple of months right so just try to look at it uh, 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 from my perspective of view because I see a lot of people confusing making money with trading a lot, right? A lot of people think that, okay, um, the more that I trade, the more money I'm going to make. I'm not saying that is not true, but most of the time, that is not true. Right? Remember when I said that, you, you check if you actually take less trades. You then start to 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 actually focus on those um you cannot you cannot fix mistakes on 
50 trades to 100 trades per month like where on earth are you going to get the time to actually be looking at those 50 trades uh, writing down your mistake trying to see why you actually lost those 50 trades that will actually be a long process you wouldn't even want to fix your mistakes you just take a trade oh i lost this trade oh it's okay on to the next one take a trade oh i lost this trade oh, okay on to the next but if you were to take two trades two trades in a week or three trades in a week bro you'd actually find time to actually sit down and try to understand why you actually lost those trades you'd actually do those one percent tweaks one percent tweaks one percent tweaks you'd actually give time to your trades that's that's what you'd actually do you'd actually be able to find time to actually fix your mistakes but if you were to take a hundred trades bro where are you going to get that time remember at the end of the day doing those one percent tweaks it is, is is like way too vital doing those one percent tweaks 0 0.5 percent tweaks doing those psychological tweaks because remember like we always say it is not always about the strategy but you know you also gotta try and if probably you actually enter the trade too early you gotta fix that right you gotta acknowledge the fact that oh bro i didn't wait i, I didn't wait for my candlestick to actually close because I, I i was rushing things i wanted to get into this trade too early and then i actually entered too early and then price actually came to hit my stop loss before it would actually before it actually went on my direction right you acknowledge that mistake and then you come to yourself and then you're like yo bro i should actually stop um wanting to take trades too early right so that's that's another thing um i actually released a video on, uh, about trading as a group uh, one of one of the disadvantages of trading as a group is that bro you're not going to take full responsibility of your losses instead you're going to be blaming each other on your bro you said we must enter too early and stuff like that you're not going to acknowledge the fact that you actually enter too early therefore you're not going to fix that mistake you're going to continuously do it over and over again right so try to trade your high probability trade set types only 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 bro a lot of people are scared that yo what if this week actually ends without me taking a trade okay it's a monday i don't get a setup oh it's okay the week is too early okay it's a tuesday oh, it's a bit okay it's a it's a wednesday ah i haven't gotten a setup hey this waiting for high probability trade setup thing is a problem oh it's a thursday i haven't gotten a setup oh it's a friday i haven't gotten a setup damn maybe this high probability trade setup that i'm waiting for is never going to come no it is going to come just that you don't want to be patient enough to wait for it you're actually scared that what if the week actually ends without me trading you're actually scared that yo people are out here taking screenshots of their trades and me here i'm just on the low i'm chilled you know trade is running in my account or something like that you're actually scared that yo bro i gotta get in the market and make some bro chill tell you what i'm not scared to wait for a full week to only get one trade no i'm not i'm not even if i have to take one trade per, per week as long as i know that yo bro this trade is my high probability trade setup it has met my rules i'm confident in that particular trade because another thing that i spoke about is confidence you're not going to be confident in confident in your low probability trade set types instead you're going to be checking your empty phone now and then your, your heart is going to start beating fast because you're just not too sure about the trade setup but me on the other side i know that yo bro it's my high probability trade setup right 
all of the rules are checked all, all of the boxes are ticked so i'm just going to lay back and relax and uh, you know not worry because bro uh, it's my high probability trade set type and i trust it i trust my strategy but you on the other side because you would because you feel like um trading a lot is actually um because you feel like the more you trade the more money you make and stuff like bro just ah come on man that is so not true bro if someone tells you that yo if someone actually laughs at you because you only took seven mm. trades in a month or five trades in a month bro that's okay mm. did you actually know that there are probably some traders out there who take even three trades per, per month who take even one trade per month right and they actually are doing just fine they actually are making money by taking two trades per month why because they take the the the, the, the most high prob probability trade set types they take the trades that they are 90 percent sure that the, uh, those trades are actually going to do well right so if if you if you haven't figured your low probability trade set types or your high probability trade set types i think you should actually try and do that i think you should actually try and uh, you know try and figure that that one out and uh, just try to stick to your high probability setup it it, it, it won't matter because let us say you were taking like 10 trades per week uh be it you were mixing this low probability trade set types with the high probability probability set types and then now that you've actually left those low probability trade, trade set types and now that you actually take those high probability trade set types uh you're probably going to take like two trades or two trades per week that is okay bro like i feel like that is okay me on the other side i'm happy with about 10 trades per month like i said i'm happy with 10 trades per month i'm happy with two to three trades per week i'm happy it's not about placing buy buy sell sell buy buy sell sell buy no bro. but it's about planning a trade it's about knowing that that particular trade has actually met all of your rules all right so you know advice from me to you be to try and stick to that don't forget to smash that like button let's get those likes up let's get those likes up let's get those likes up and if you're not yet subscribed do make sure to subscribe do my youtube channel to get more tips and uh, you know for me to actually share with you what i know about the forex market as, as you can see that i've been you know trying to reveal some things that i've studied over the past couple of years so remember i'm a self taught forex trader so i do a lot of study on my charts bro like i said i literally stare at my charts literally just stare at my charts without even knowing what i want and then when i see something i just try and build that foundation and then you know i just try to work from that never ever reach a point where you actually know it or never ever reach a point where you feel like yes now i've actually mastered uh the forex market well, i've got i've got like a good strategy but i still i still i still open my charts to actually look for something new because i'm wanting to i'm, I'm trying to do those one percent tweaks right if my strategy is like a success rate of like 65 percent bro i gotta work i gotta work so that probably next day it's seated at 70 percent success rate so that's me signing out see you in the next video